Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the design of 16 is to 1 multiplexer using 8 is to 1 multiplexer. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive, the link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. We need to design the 16 is to 1 multiplexer using 8 is to 1 multiplexer. So the multiplexer is nothing but having 2 to the power n input and 1 output with n selection lines so this is the description of the multiplexer having 2 to the power n input only one output and n selection line so multiplexer is nothing but many input to only one output right so based on this 16 is to 1 means it is 2 to the power 4 2 to the power 4 inputs and only one output right having four selection lines the 2 to the power 4 so that 4 selection lines 8 is to 1 mean it is 2 to the power 3 is to 1 multiplexer so 3 selection lines there are 3 selection lines are available right so we need to design the 16 is to 1 multiplexer that is 2 to the power 4 is to 1 having 4 selection line using the 3 is 8 is to 1 multiplexer that is 2 to the power is to 1 having 3 selection lines now we will see how to map how to map these four selection lines in the 16 is to 1 multiplexer and three selection line in the 8 is, 8 is to 1 multiplexer so here four selection lines are available but here only three selection lines are available we will see how to connect this so the step one is connect the selection line s2 s1 and s0 of the two multiplexer in parallel so out of four selection lines the three selection line that is starting from LSB is connected to 8 is to 1 multiplexer that is S3, S2, S1, S0 is the S3, S2, S1, S0 is the four selection line. Out of this, this starting from MSB, three lines are connected in parallel with two to, to the multiplexer, two of the multiplexer, S0, S1 and S2, right. What about that another third, third selection line? The connect the most significant selection line. This is S3 is the most significant selection line S3 such that when S3 equal to 0, max 1 is enabled. When S3 equal to 1, max 2 is enabled. Right. So, this, the, the fourth selection line S3 that is MSB selection line is used to enable the max 1 and max 2. S3 equal to 0 mean max 1 will be enabled, S3 equal to 1 mean max 2 will be enabled, right. So, first three selection lines are connected in parallel with the max of the both the multiplexer. The fourth one, MSB, the selection line, MSB of the selection line is used to select the max 1 and max 2, right. The step 3, the step 3 is nothing but logically or the output of the two multiplexers to obtain the final output of y. So, one OR gate is used in that OR gate the output of max 1 and max 2 is connected in order to get the final output right. Now, we will go to the block, block diagram. Now, we will go to the logic diagram. So, this is the first multiplexer 8 is to 1 the max 2 second multiplexer 8 is to 1 that is the MSB of the data are available from D8 to D15, D8, D9, D10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, right. So, we have 16 inputs available out of 8 inputs are connected to the MUX2, MSB line starting from MSB, right. So, this is the enable, enable line. This is the selection line S3, S1 and S0. We already discussed out of 4 three selection lines are connected here one selection line is connected to enable right as connected as enable so this is the second output y2 output of the second max y2 right so this is the 8 is to 1 second max having lsb having the data from lsb to 8 data are available with one enable and three selection lines now we'll go to the max 1 first max mx 8 is to 1 max 1. So, here also having another 8 data starting from LSB D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6 and D7 that output is Y1 the enable is also available 
then S2, S1, S0. So, this is connected parallelly. S2, S1, S0 is connected parallelly. Both the MUX, S1, S1, S0 is connected parallelly. Right. So, this output Y is connected to one R gate. This is Y1, this is Y2. Both are connected. So, R gate is the nature of adding the adding the output. So, these two inputs will be added and it will give the final output. Right. So, we have MUX1 and MUX2. In the MUX1, there are 8 data available starting from LSB. In MUX2, 8 data are available starting from MSB. So, to totally 8 plus 8, 16 data. Right. Now, we are kind of designed with the 16 is to 1 multiplexer. So, that 16 data are available with only one output. The selection lines are 4 selection lines. In case of 16 is to 1 multiplexer, we have 4 selection lines. Out of 4, 3 is connected to the parallel to the 8 is to 1 multiplexer. 8, S0, S1, S2. Right? These 3 are connected in parallel with the 8 is to 1 multiplexer. Right? So, this is the selection line of 16 is to 1 multiplexer out of which 3 are connected to the 8 is to 1 multiplexer. Right? Now, we will see what about the fourth one, MSB, the selection line, MSB of the selection line S3. So, we already discussed this L, this S3 is used to select the MUX1 and MUX2, right. It is used to select the MUX1 and MUX2, right. So, this S3 is connected directly to the enable for the second MUX and it is connected through one R gate to the enable of the first MUX, right. So, the S3 is used to select MUX1 and MUX2. S3 is directly connected to the enable of second MUX connected through the using on R gate, connected through R gate to the enable of the first max, right. Suppose if, if S3 is 0, what will happen? If S3 is 0 means the 0 is connected to the second max. So, the second max will not be enabled. The same 0 is applied here, but here 1 or not gate is available. So, so 0 become 1. So, due to the 1, this is enabled. So, the first max will be enabled, right. So, it will transfer the data. This first max will be enabled out of the 8 data starting from LSP, any one data is available at the Y1 that is given to the R gate so that it will produce the final output, right. When S3 is 0, max 2 is disabled, max 1 is enabled, the data available in the first max is transferred to the final output, any one of the data starting from D0 to D7, any one of the data will be available that is depends upon S0, S1, S, S, S2. Suppose 0, 0, 0, S0 is 0, S1, 0 means D1 will be transferred. 0, 0, 1 means, uh, sorry, S0, 0 means D0 will be transferred. 0, 0, 1 means D1 will be transferred according to the, the binary number. That is three, 3 selection lines are available so that 8 combinations will be there, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 like that. So, accordingly out of 8 inputs available that will be transferred. For example, 0, 0, 0 mean the first data D naught will be transferred. Like that it will transfer the other data. Finally, what we have 1, 1, 1. At the time D7 will be transferred, right. So, S3 is 0 means first max is enabled based on the uh, value of the selection line S0, S1, S2, there are 8 combinations are available. So, for the 8 combination, out of 8 data, any one data is transfer. For example, the first combination is 0, 0, 0 means D0 will be transfer. Next one, 0, 0, 1 means D1 will be transfer. Like that, it will go up to D7, that is 1, 1, 1, 1. So, all the inputs are, all the selection lines are 1, 1 mean it will transfer the D7, right. Now, we will go to the second one. If the selection line is 1, what will happen? This 1 is applied to the enable. So, the second max is enabled, right. The same 1 is applied here that becomes 0. After the not get, the 1 is become 0. So, that so the first max is disabled, right. When the selection line S3 is 1, now second max is enabled, right. So, 0 means first max is enabled, 1 means second max will be enabled, right. But now, based on this data, based on the selection line, the 
out the input will be transferred any one of the input will be transferred to the output right so again here also same thing 0 0 0 means the d8 the data d8 will be transferred 0 0 1 so because of 3 bit there are 8 combinations available 0 0 1 means the second one d9 will be transferred that is available in the y that is given to the or gate it is available as a final output similarly it will goes up to 1 1 1 1 1 1 means the final the msb data d15 will be transferred right so starting from 0 0 mean first data d8 0 0 1 means second data d9 like that it will go up to 8 combination the final combination is 1 1 means d15 data will be transferred right so in this video we discuss how to design the 16 is to 1 multiplexer using the 2 8 is to 1 multiplexer right here we are having the 2 8 is to 1 multiplexer 16 is to 1 multiplexer having 4 selection line 8 is to 1 multiplexer having 3 selection line so out of 4 selection line 3 selection lines are connected parallelly one more selection line is used to enable the max right if the selection line the msb 0 means max 1 is enabled 1 means max 2 will be enabled when the max 1 is enabled the data d0 to d7 is any one of the data d0 to d7 is transferred to the final output similarly if the max 2 is enabled d8 to d15 any one of the data is transferred to the final final output based on the value three combinations 0 0 to 1 1 1 so subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening